Welcome back to Team Forever, back again with another video, and I'm back with another Big Brother Season 21 video. Sorry I look a mess, y'all, but I just, I got home from work, I watched the episode, and I said, you know what, I gotta get on screen and do a review of this video as soon as it goes up, because my, I, I ordered a new computer, y'all, a new MacBook 2000, and I think it's 18, 19, I don't know. But MacBook Air is coming in, but my MacBook right now is so slow. It takes so long to render, so long to export, and then obviously I have to actually put it on YouTube after all that. But it takes so long, and I have to wait till the next day. So I don't know when this video is going up, but bear with me. New computer, supposed to be here Monday. I won't be making another Big Brother video until probably next Wednesday after the next eviction. But let's get to the video at hand. So. First of all, going into this uh, video, or into this episode, let me just say I was a fan of three people. Three people only, really. It's so crazy after, like, the feeds week and all this first week. Like, first of all, the hatred for Jack, can y'all explain it to me a little bit more inside the uh, comments? Because I don't see why is he such a hate. Why do people hate him so much? He don't, from what I see, he hasn't really done that much bad stuff. What What was the, because the, in the live feed people the people who review the live feeds who i follow they're not telling me the exact things that jack said like what did he say that's so bad because i haven't seen him do anything yeah he hate kimmy for no reason but i feel like a lot of people well is he racist i don't know i don't know i mean i know i feel bad when i say like i don't want to call these people racist and but then i have like people who are white on youtube saying you know, it's definitely racism because everybody you're targeting is um, minority. And then I'm sitting here as a minority saying, oh, I don't want to call them racist. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I haven't seen him do anything that bad to where it's like he's getting so much hate. Like, when I watched season 15, which was last year, I watched season 15, I understood why Aaron was hated, you know? I understood why, ooh, who else was hated? Andy was hated. I understood why Spencer was that Spencer that season? I don't know. Like I understood Gina Marie. I understood those. Josh, Paul. I understood all that. Alex. Why they were hated on their seasons. But Jack, it doesn't seem like he's doing anything that bad in my opinion. But like I'm probably missing something. Big turn off to Annalise. Oh my god. What happened? Like, what? I want to change my winner's pick. I want to change Annalise, not because I don't like her, but because I feel like she's not likable. I want to change her to Holly, because I know in my initial video, I couldn't even remember anything about Holly, but I feel like Holly is more likable than Annalise. Way more likable. But then again, Holly is... So much stuff came out, and it's like... So Jackson has sex with Kat inside the Big Brother house, and he he's using that as a game. Like... What? I thought he was a good guy at first from the interview, and he watches it with his mom, and he has all this respect, but he's just sleeping with girls for game and using them. And I still like Cat a lot. I know a lot of people don't like Cat, but I'm a fan. I feel like if I was inside the house, I'd probably be kind of like Cat. Annoying as hell. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, everybody that's liking Tommy, I don't see what the big deal with him is yet. Like, People are saying he's playing the best game and stuff, and it's like, not... Like, I've watched reviews of people who say that Tommy's playing the best game. I've read comments where people say Tommy's playing the best game. I've seen on Twitter where they say Com Tommy's. Like, I don't think anybody's playing a phenomenal game when nobody has even been evicted. Like, they haven't even been through two veto competitions. I don't even think Tommy, maybe he did participate in the first veto. But, like, I don't see how you can say someone's playing such a good game. Like, I feel like people are just fans of Tommy because... They like his personality, which is fine, but that doesn't mean he's a good player. Um, Christy's week was like a roller coaster. It was so horrible. Like, you didn't want to get rid of Kimmy because uh, I don't have anything against her, but you got rid of Ovi. But I thought you had nothing against him. You shouldn't you get rid so you should have just got rid of who your alliance wanted, wanted you to because you made them happy. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad how it went. Ovi's power was a waste, but that was a really good power, though. That was amazing. I really liked that power. 
you get to just change the nominees and it's anonymous. It wakes up everybody in the middle of the night. That would have been so cool. I wonder can he still use it now that he's out the house. Let's get to this actual review because I'm like five minutes in and I haven't talked about this at all. So Julie reveals the twist. So basically, whoever leaves, they don't leave the house. They stay inside the house. So they still live in the house as evicted players. That's kind of fun. Might be boring for them, though. Yeah, they live inside a house with some strangers, but they're not doing anything. I don't know. And when do they actually go to that room? Can someone explain that to me? Or are they actually in the room for four weeks? If they are, that's horrible. Uh, so, then we get to Ovi's campaign, in which, you know, he just went around. Really, he had nothing really special that he said in his campaign, in my opinion. Like, he just asked people, did I have a vote? Like, and then we get the cat campaign, which I actually like. I don't know. I, I was a fan. I'm. I, are you guys conspiring against me? Are you guys conspiring? Are you? Like, I liked it. It was fun. She's a funny. I like her. I really like her. I feel like I would be aligned with Cat if I was inside the house. She's, she's my type, kind of, as a friend. She's my type of friend. I liked it. Uh, and... Honestly, y'all, did she really say it that many times, or was that edited? I think it was edited. I don't think she actually said it that many times. If she did, Jesus Christ. Uh, then we get to Ovi, who told Jack, of all people, about his power. Now, I know I just said that I don't see why is Jack... I don't even see him running the house, really. He didn't even get what he wanted in the first week. Like, what does he run? His alliance? But really, like, Nick don't even like him. So I don't get the hatred for Jack. I just don't. I really don't. But it's probably something that I don't see. Uh, so Ovi tells about the power, which I think was a dumb move. Honestly, I think you should have done the opposite if I was Ovi. You see that they're running the house. I don't know why he's so in awe by Jack. He loves Jack, but he should have went to Kimmy, Jessica, Nicole. I wonder, like, maybe he can't see that that's an alliance. But those are my three favorites. Those are the three that I like. I don't think I even said that to me. Those are my three who I love. Kimmy, Nicole, and Jessica. Oh, my God. I would not have thought that I would be such a fan of Kimmy from watching uh, preseason interviews. I said that she was kind of an evil that I kind of liked. But I didn't think she would be, like, my top three favorites right now. I mean, I kind of still do, like, Christy a lot. But I don't know. I don't know. And Tommy, I don't know. He's annoying, too, a little bit. I'm actually kind of warming up a little bit to Sam, honestly. Y'all probably wouldn't expect that. Uh, so, Jackson actually was really, really smart in this, this conversation. And I really... It made me kind of... But I still... I just dislike Jackson as a person because of the stuff that he's been doing. Mainly with Cat. I think that's just wrong. I really do. I think it's wrong. And I do... I don't think he's racist. But I think it's very, like, you're talking to all the minorities. You should be smart enough to see that that's a bad look. Even if you are racist, honestly. If he is racist, he should be like, oh, well, I guess if he's racist and he don't care about it, then go ahead. But if you're racist and you try to hide it, then why am I even talking about this? This is awkward. But anyway, uh, I think he had a smart idea of, so what if he got that power? Like, uh, they're coming after us no matter what if we don't win next week. And what is the odds that we don't win? We got eight people in our alliance. Come on now. Like, and I don't think Cliff would have put them up. And I don't think Sam would have put them up. So they really have a 10-person alliance. Two people will be gone. So 10 people alliance plus if they keep Cat, that's 11 people. So that's 11 <laughs> 11 out of, what is that? So, 16 start with, 2 will be gone. 11. So, 3 people. And look at who they are. Jessica, Kimmy, and Nicole. And I think that's what Je Jackson said. He said, if Jess, Kimmy, or Nicole wins, we're going up. Those are the only three they have to worry about. Jesus, this season could be boring. Oh, my God. If Jessica, Kimmy, or Nicole leaves right now, this season might be boring. But hopefully, let's just forget about that. Someone's coming back. And at this point, I honestly don't want Obi to come back because of the ending, but we'll get to that. Uh, so I, I noticed that Jackson's name is now Mickey, like literally inside the little the little nail. Do they have the little the faces on the wall this season? I don't know if I saw that, but they changed Jackson's name on the lower th third to Mickey. So I guess that's like going to be his name from now on. Um, then we get to the eviction speeches. Ovi's was whatever, nothing. Cats was hilarious at the end. 
before that it was you know nothing but then she said at the end i'm gonna find out if you bitches really were conspiring against me and everybody laughed and julia was like we never heard you say that before it was funny i like i am a fan of cat i just wish she was not in love with jackson i just wish that but i like cat i'm going to bat for her because i like her i'm a fan of hers i feel like i said that so many times in this video do y'all think i like we would be best friends if it was me and her uh, so then they go to vote. I just wrote this down because I found it funny. Every single person gave a shout out except for Cliff. Like, and he might have gave a shout out, and I just zoned out or something like that. As I remember him saying, with a very heavy heart, I vote to evict Obi and getting up and leaving. I don't remember a shout out, but so sixteen, so sixteen people. One person left, so it's fifteen people. Three of them don't vote, so twelve people. So, one of them didn't give a shout-out. 11 people gave a shout-out. Jesus Christ. I think it was one time last season, season 20, where everybody gave a birthday shout-out. I'm like, it's not... It's no way it's a birthday if every single person... Well, actually, it actually is pretty likely. But, Ovi's evicted. Then this camp comeback thing comes on. Ovi got super happy. It was kind of awkward because he took off a pen. And Julie thought it was his mic. Told him to put it back on. And he did. He said, like, it's a pen, but I'll put it back on if you want. And Julie didn't hear him say, it's a pen. So she said, yes, please do. It's live television. It was a pen. <laughs> that was funny and awkward. So then, like, I must have blinked for too long or something, but somehow David was back in the house. I just opened my eyes, and David was hugging somebody. I'm like, oh, David's back. I had no idea. So Julie explained the rules of what was going on, and yeah, so... They'll be living in some cabin. I don't know how, like, when do they come out and go to the house? Because they're still doing the social game. HOH competition. This was... What is going on with these boring competitions this season? Because that veto competition... Oh, I didn't really recap this week, did I? I was supposed to recap this whole week, but yeah. Sam won the veto. It was the most boring competition I've ever seen on Big Brother. If y'all want to argue that with me in the comments, go ahead. But that was the most boring competition I've ever seen on Big Brother so far. Did I even talk about Christy winning HOH? I, I think that was inside my other video. I don't know, but Christy won HOH. David got banished. Did I never talk about this stuff? Oh my god, I don't know. If this, is this my, am I reviewing episode? I don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We just talking about, you know, from now on when I do Big Brother videos, we just gonna turn them all into a mukbang because we're just talking about the show. I don't got no specific order to go in. So, HOH competition, I'm rooting for Jess, Kimmy, and Nicole. They all did really good. It came down to the final four being Jess, Nicole, and the Jacks. I was like, you cannot pay a better picture for this. The only way it'll be better is if maybe it was Kimmy and Jess. Because that would have been more like, because those two, those are probably the two that, yeah, they definitely are because they're the ones that's not white. You know, Nicole's white. I was just joking, guys. Well, am I? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, so, yeah, I thought the conversation was a little boring because the questions were, like, so easy. But they were not easy to me, but I feel like they should have been easy to them because they're actually trying to win this. I feel like they should have been able to get it. And then they only would ask one question out of the fireworks. I don't know. Uh, so then it ends up going down to Jessica and Jack, and I'm like, oh my god, Jessica, win. Everybody on Twitter rooting for Jessica, 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 Jessica. That would have been great, because we know Jessica, well, she wouldn't have won for any of the guys. Like, I wonder who she would have put, I think she would have put up the Jacks, both of them. Like, man, and she lost, like, this, uh, and I thought the quest, the answer was red. When she put red, I thought the answer was red. When they act, answered, asked the question, I said, the answer's red. And she put up red. Really, she put it up before Jack, and I thought that was the right answer. When Julie said blue, I was like... But you know what? When you have an 11-person alliance, how can I be shocked that one of them won? Because it really is an 11-person alliance. It's 11 people. For real. It really is. That eight-person alliance that all know about each other, Cliff is with them. He is with them. He loves Jack for some reason. He loves Jackson for some reason. Sam is with them for some reason. I don't know why. 
cat is with them. That's 11 people versus three. One of them three girls are leaving this week, and it's most likely going to be Kemi. It's most likely going to be Kemi. And if not, Kemi is Jessica. And I almost, I would rather have Kemi leave because Jessica and the, ah, but Jessica is so stupid with this whole girls thing. Why do you want the, all the girls to work together? It's not going to work. Holly and Annalise are not, they are just, no, they are, no, like, I think Holly could win this game, but she is so in with that eight person alliance. Like, how can you not see it? Like, uh, watching this show. If I could take one person out this this season and put myself in, I guess it would have been David. Shoot, because he lost that first competition like that. And he's not a fan of the show. I don't like when it's people who literally are not fans of the show on the show. I really, like, if they had known nothing about it, I don't, I don't care for that. But I like David. I'm glad he's back. And when David was back and he was talking, I could tell that he used to be fat. Looking at his face, I could tell. He, I'm not saying this in a bad way, obviously. I'm saying, like, I could just, I could just tell. Uh, so, Jack won HOH, unfortunately. By the way, when David came back, freaking Jackson was hugging him so tight. And David mentioned that. Like, yeah, you know, basically he said he would like to talk to Jackson and basically alluded to the fact of him going to the point of him going after Jackson, which I like. OV was just beating around the bush, and that's why I don't want him to come back. Like, it's a game I signed up for. Like, I get you want to be politically correct, but... You're boring. You're boring. I'm sorry, Ovi. You're boring. And I I was rooting for you and liked you and all that crap. But, and I, but you're boring. You're boring. You're boring. I don't want you to come back, Ovi. And at this point, Kemi's probably leaving because she she's probably leaving most likely. And I want David to come back out of those three. I honestly want David to come back. And if Jessica leaves the following week... I don't even know. I don't know. I hope this season doesn't come down to the final 11 being those 11 that I talked about. If Jessica, Nicole, and Kimmy leave this season is, I'm not saying it's dumb, but it, come on now. Come on. It might be boring. But that's it for this week's video. Guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all forms of social media. Let's keep the discussion going inside the comment section down below. Check out the Patreon link in the info box down below. And until next time. Catch you later. Comment a fool for me during next week's Monk Bay.